Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, building still packed to the nuts. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Welterweight Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocking out Marius Zoromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over BJ Penn fighting George St. Pierre, and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights for Nick Diaz because he was such a star in such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetan Pereira! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice strike. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily... seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.